Hi everyone, my name is Stephanie and I'm a first year engineering student at UBC. Today I'm here with my sister Tiffany. Hi, I'm Tiffany. I'm a fifth year engineering physics student at UBC. Um, and we're going to be talking about what it's been like in engineering so far and our perspectives on engineering and kind of the difference between being a first year and almost graduating. So what has it been like basically um, seeing me go through first year since it's basically exactly what you did a few years ago? Um, I think it's interesting seeing like how your interests are similar and how your interests are different from mine because like first year engineering is so similar now as it was when I did it. So it's just like kind of comparing and seeing like how your interests kind of shape your journey through engineering and how like mine shaped my own. What has been your favorite course so far in engineering? Um, I have really liked all my computer science electives. So I've taken this data structures and algorithms class at a prereq for that class, which was math proofs, which I really loved. Um, and then this term I got to take computer graphics and a data visualization class, which I don't know, it's just been so fun for me. And I'm so glad that my degree has given me the flexibility to explore that. Cool. I just finished first term of first year, so I've only taken six courses so far, but probably my favorite courses so far um, are AppSci 100 or AppSci 160. AppSci 100 is like the course where you learn about engineering and you work on projects that teach you about engineering. So what's the workload like of being an engineer? I'll answer first. Okay. <laughs> so um, for first term, I thought it was pretty manageable. It wasn't as bad as I was expecting, but not to say it was easy, but I just thought it was manageable with like good time management. I mean, I feel like you've always been good at time management. Thanks. I think for me, it's hard to say because I've only studied engineering, but the workload for me between school and work, because I've done a few co-op terms, I feel like school has been more challenging for me. And I think that terms on their own have like varied in how difficult I find them, but it really comes down to like the kind of work that I enjoy, the kind of topics that I'm studying, um, how I work and just like other things going on in my life. So I think that what I've learned over my degree is just like how to handle the workload and what kind of work I prefer. So I'm just learning about myself. Yeah. What's been the biggest difference between high school and university? I think that in high school, I was doing a big variety of things like in the courses I was taking and the things I was doing outside of school and I feel like I didn't have to think too much for that to happen because you kind of like have to take electives you have to take um, like a breadth of classes whereas I feel like in university especially with engineering because you don't get too many electives you have to be very deliberate about it if you want to um, explore stuff outside of your degree so I think that's been the biggest thing just being like really deliberate about pursuing the things I'm interested in. Wow. That's like a, you're graduating answer. <laughs> I feel like I just think it's different in terms of what they expect of you, like on tests that you kind of have to apply what you're learning instead of just like doing a question that was basically like what was in the homework. So if you could go back in time, what advice would you give to your high school self? Try your best because there's a lot of things you can't control, so just like put your best foot forward and then try and it'll be fine. I would say to explore the things that you can explore in high school that are a little bit harder to do outside of that world. I think a lot about how in grade 12, um, my friend was, was asking me if I wanted to take woodworking and I was like, no, I don't want to take woodworking. I'm going to be really bad at it. I'm going to like get a bad mark and it's going to be so hard, blah, blah, blah. And now I like, I really wish I took that class. I really wish I took um, dance and like metal work and art and just all these things that I don't get the opportunity to anymore um, because it's just a little bit harder. I need to be a lot more deliberate about like chasing those opportunities now. And it was just so easy for me to do in high school. So I really wish that I had like taken advantage of um, how everything was so available for me and accessible. So that's what I would do. I would have learned a lot more things. So thank you so much for watching our video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below.